hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for today's video because it is another fragrance video and i'm pretty sure that you guys like fragrances just as much as i do so today i'm gonna be sharing some dupes with you guys for from dossier so i purchased one bottle of perfume from dossier and they actually were so nice and they sent me one so i just wanted to share these with you guys and let you know how everything worked out for me and i actually did film the unboxing of the video like a couple weeks ago but i lost the footage so i'm doing this over again and as i'll show you guys what my bottles are looking like right now but my bottles are basically halfway done because i'm really loving them i feel like they're really really good and if you are new to my channel i just want to say hey welcome my name is donna i love to do fashion and fashion business videos so i would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below so the dupes that I got are Black Opium and for Baccarat Rouge 540. So I have the actual perfumes and I know exactly what they smell like. So it's easy for me to say whether the Dossier version is actually good or not. If you want to get the dupe for the YSL Black Opium, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you purchase the Floriental Vanilla from Dossier. And something that I really do like about Dossier is that they put the top notes right on top of the bottle on the perfume. So it has the top notes, then the scent, and then their logo. And what I do like about the the bottle too is that it is magnetic so you don't have to like push hard on the cap or anything you just literally drop it down and it sticks right onto it so I think that's really perfect but for the Floriental Vanilla the top notes are mandarin pear pink pepper licorice middle and the middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom and the base notes are cedar wood Pachuli, Pachuli and vanilla and coffee. So what I like about this is that it smells exactly, exactly like the YSL Black Opium Perfume. And the YSL Black Opium Perfume is actually really, really pricey. I did an unboxing video of that one and that one was really expensive. That I'm actually really surprised that this smells really, really similar. Like. I basically can't even tell the difference when I'm putting this one on like I don't know if I'm using the original or if I'm using the dupe that's how good it is so if you want the dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 I highly 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 recommend that you get the Ambery Saffron so with the Ambery Saffron the top notes are saffron and orange blossom the middle notes is jasmine, plum, and cedar wood. And the base notes is oak moss, fair basil, fir, balsam, and um, amber. So I really, really do like this one. That's basically all that I wanted to share with you guys about these fragrances. I highly recommend that you purchase them if you are looking to, you know save money on perfume because perfume really does add up i know like not everyone wants to spend a lot of money on fragrances so if you are looking for a dupe i definitely recommend using recommend that you use these and i definitely can say that i will be purchasing the floriental vanilla again because this one is definitely my favorite one out of both of the ones that i got out of the floriental vanilla and the ambery saffron i definitely would rather the floriental vanilla because i just like the scent so much better but they're both equally as good so because as you guys can see I'm definitely running low on those and I've had them for not even two months I would say so I definitely recommend that you guys purchase them if you are interested yeah that is basically everything that I wanted to share with you guys I know I know that this video is actually really really short but I really had lost the footage that's why this video was meant to be up like a long time ago I'll probably try to include some other clips in this video of other things that I do this week but definitely leave your comments down below if you've ever shopped with Dossier. Let me know how your experience was and let me know what your favorite fragrance is from them because I definitely want to purchase more dupes from them because I really do like these and one of my favorite things is the bottle. I really love the bottle. It's very simple. Okay because this video is so short I might as well share other things with you guys because why not. So I went to Ulta the other day and I got a 
couple things and I'm gonna show you guys right now I'm actually wearing one of the lip colors right now so I'll show you what that is so the lip color that I'm wearing right now is the from LA girl perfect precision liner and it is in the color blushing and I actually really do like this combo I decided that I want to wear less of glossy lips and more like matte lips again I remember back in the day I used to wear matte lips every single day all the time and then I started to like gloss and then I just started wearing gloss all the time but I think I want to just start wearing matte lips again and I really do like this I feel like this is actually a really good liner I have actually never used any liners from LA girl I've actually never purchased anything from LA girl but when I went to Ulta I saw that they had this and I was like this looks like the perfect like nude pink shade so I definitely had to get it that's why I just grabbed it okay so these are some of the things that I got from Ulta so I got this NYX um, it's called the dazed and diffused blurring lipstick I'm so excited to use that because I'm starting to like matte lips a lot better than glossy lips so I'm trying to figure out what I want to use then I also got this morphe um, what is it called glossified lip oil and they do have different colors so and the color i got is extra glazed i also got this um i think it's a bb cream or a cc cream and this is from lancome and this is what i like about this is that it has spf 23 in it and i'm really trying to get into using more spf when i go out so i'm definitely excited to use this and this one is in the shade sweet honey then I also got this lip pencil. This is from LA Girl. This is the Perfect Precision Lip Liner. And I don't know what color this is. This is in the color Blushing. It's not even focusing, but it's called Blushing. The next thing I got from them is... The next thing I got from Ulta is this nyx professional makeup pencil like i love nyx pencils and this one is in the color tea and cookies and then lastly i got lastly i got this nyx primer this is the nyx honeydew primer and the lady in the store told me that this one is really similar to the um milk hydro grip primer so that's why i'm trying this one out so i'll definitely keep you guys Ooh, that's a hair so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how I like it because the Milk Hydro Group Primer is definitely my number one favorite. I have been using that one for over a year now so I hope that I like this one. I put it on today so I'll see how it works. And then like I was saying like this primer I've never used before and I actually put it on today. I'm not too sure how I'm liking it but I'm definitely not going to let this go to waste. If Even if I don't like it I'll still use it on days that I am you know not really gonna film or something but I noticed that when I was putting this on it seemed kind of like slimy it's not really like the same consistency as the milk hydro grip primer like the lady in the store told me it's a little bit more slimy but um, I'll just see how it wears throughout the day and I'll definitely let you guys know if I do like it or not and the yeah that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video